Welcome to Compare to Who, the podcast to help you stop comparing and start living. I'm your host, Heather Creekmore. I hate to admit this, but I used to secretly obsess over my appearance. I thought it was part of my job as a woman to always look better, but never felt like I could be good enough. Maybe you can relate. God, in his grace, showed me a way out, and I want to give you all the tools you need to break free too. If you've ever spent too much time stressing over your looks, I get it. I hope you'll keep listening and find the same freedom I have. Here are three other things you should know about me. I'm a minivan driving mom of four. I'm author of the book Compared to Who and the Burden of Better. I'm a blogger at comparedtowho.me, and you just may have seen my epic big fail on Netflix. If you've ever struggled with comparison or body image issues, Compared to Who is the show for you. I hope you enjoy today's episode and hey, tell a friend about it. Hey friends, Heather Creekmore here. It's day eight of our 30 days to pray for your body image. And today, we're going to talk about your feelings. Yeah, it sounds like you need to lay down on the couch and sit back and let's talk about your feelings. But no, seriously, friends, I want to talk about how you feel about your body and what it might take to get God to do a healing work to touch that part of you. Okay, so yesterday we talked about discernment and discernment is part of this, right? Because I think there are so many lies that we believe and have believed for so long that those lies play a huge role in how we feel, right? If you are constantly telling yourself that you are not valuable at your current weight or that you are lazy or un desirable unless you look like whatever, fill in the blank, right? It's it's pretty hard not to feel down, not to feel discouraged, not to feel depressed when that is the constant conversation in your head, right? So, so first you do need that discernment we prayed for yesterday, right? You need God to show you what are the lies I'm believing? Where am I stuck? We prayed that day one or two, right? Where am I stuck believing lies? We need to get rid of the lies, But then, friends, mm, this is where it gets hard. We need to realize that although our feelings are very valid, they're legitimate, you are allowed to feel God is emotional, right? Jesus wept. It's okay to feel. But we can't trust our feelings to tell us the truth all the time. Right, Because the truth is you are valuable, you are loved, you are worthy, you were made with a purpose for a purpose, right? And sometimes what happens is we let our feelings take over and spiral and we kind of get to a place that's not very good, (laughs) right? Whether it be anxiety, depression, despair, hopelessness. I mean, I don't know, friends, like maybe this is just me, but there's been times when my husband like hasn't said I looked nice, didn't compliment me when I thought he should, or didn't respond the way I thought he should have to me at a certain point verbally. And I will allow the enemy the room to take that one thought, oh, I wonder why he didn't tell me I look nice, and spiral that into... Oh, well, he must not be attracted to me anymore. He must never think I look good. He must be looking at other women thinking that they look better than me. He's comparing me to other women. I bet he doesn't even want to be married to me anymore. I wonder if he's having an affair. I Oh, our marriage is over because he's not attracted to me anymore. I wonder what else is going on. I, and I need to lose weight. I need to be better. I need to look different for him. And it can go from... He just forgot to tell me I look nice to uh, my marriage is over in about five seconds, right? And it's feelings. It's feelings that start spiraling. So friend, my prayer for you today is that you will recognize that all the feelings are valid, right? And sometimes it's okay to just be sad or frustrated, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But we can't live led by feelings, right? If if I operated how I felt every day, (laughs) I don't know if I'd ever get any 
everything done, right? So we all do this, right? Like most of us have to power through some feelings and do things we don't want to do. I tell my children that all the time. Being an adult is about doing things you don't want to do. Um, So we all do this naturally, but when it comes to our bodies, we need the Holy Spirit's help to overcome our feelings and to talk back, to preach to ourselves, right? When those feelings start to come, No one thought I looked nice at church today. No one complimented me. My friend didn't notice my new outfit or my new hair or whatever it may be. We need to take those thoughts captive and speak back the truth. And the truth is we have no idea what's going on in anyone else's head, right? And that's the first truth I have to tell myself. You know, I actually do not know what he's thinking. I actually do not know what my friend is thinking. Just because they didn't say they liked my new haircut doesn't mean that they don't like my new haircut. I have no idea what's going on in her brain or his brain. So I give others grace and I stop thinking about myself so much and I start thinking about them more and how I can love and serve others more and get my brain off of myself. And that's really where the freedom comes. So Matthew verse 25 of chapter six says, therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body. What you will put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothing. Friend, Know the truth. Your feelings don't always serve you well when it comes to how you feel about your body. You may wake up some mornings and feel great about your body. You may wake up other mornings and not feel so great, but it's important to tell yourself the truth. You were made on purpose by an awesome designer and creator for a purpose. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, help us not to follow our feelings, God. You made us as individuals who are able to feel so deeply, God, but help us to see those times when our feelings don't serve us well, especially as it pertains to feelings we have that are triggered by lies and untruths and wrong beliefs about our bodies and our words and our value. God, free us from the spiral that comes from waiting for others' opinions of us and the feelings that come when those opinions don't seem to go where we thought they were going to go. God, free us from the yo-yo of up and down feelings based on the barometric pressure of how others are reading us or how we're reading ourselves. God, free us from following our feelings and help us to live in your truth and your peace and your rest to know that no matter how we feel about our bodies, we are treasured, we are accepted, and we are loved unconditionally through your son, Jesus. It's in his name I pray. Amen. Well, that's all for day eight. We will catch you tomorrow in day nine. Hey, have you told a friend about this yet? You really should. See you tomorrow. 